Look at this. No more MC Hammer Pants. Welcome to Keto Chronicles, where every Friday I tell you all my progress, updates, everything in between. Let me tell you, my weight has gone up and down this week. I'll give you my weigh-in results later on. But y'all know that I made that beef stroganoff for Monday munchies, right? So I had to go to HEB to get some beef stock. And I'm just thinking I'm just going to go cheapo on this stuff because, you know, it's beef stock, right? Well, for some reason, I decided to look at the back and see the ingredients. And the HEB brand beef stock has maltodextrin in it. I was shocked. If you guys don't already know, I think maltodextrin is the devil. It's double what it is on the glycemic index. So you think table sugar will spike your insulin? It's got nothing on maltodextrin. I was just flabbergasted. Look at ingredients, people. Speaking of ingredients, y'all know I've been hitting it up with the keto ice cream and high key cookies. It's funny because I would like lose a little bit here and there while having this ice cream and the cookies mixed in it, right? Now, for the longest time, I didn't like those keto cake in a mug, cup, plastic tub things you get at the grocery store. It was all sorts of bad ingredients in all of those. But I recently discovered that Duncan Hines must have changed that or something because most of the ingredients were actually fairly decent, at least on the one that I saw. The only thing that was bad was the palm oil. And that's if you're strict keto because it's overly processed. I wanted to make it like those ice cream shops have where there's a warm brownie there and then they put the ice cream on top and it just kind of melts. So here's how it went. Look at that. Look at that. Mm hmm Okay. Very bland. If you're wanting something tasty, cake-like and real quick, I'll go ahead and get this. It's just two tablespoons of water, some avocado oil. Okay, I might not have been goo goo gaga over that in the video, but I tell you what, it did the trick. But that's only if you're dirty keto. If you're strict, it's a no. And here's the funny thing when it comes to those ice creams that I've been having. I found myself losing weight still with eating that, but I'm past the four week mark. And that's whenever I say it's okay to have these dessert replacements in moderation but I've not been having it in moderation and I've still been kind of losing weight. And the funny thing is, as soon as I stopped eating those ice creams, my weight bumped up a little bit. Tell me how that happens. By the way, if you haven't seen my Holy Grail keto bread substitute video, do it. I am floored by how fantastic these things are. So I've been eating those sandwiches for three or four days now. Here's my problem though. So a few weeks ago, I had found these wild chicken chips and I found the buffalo kind and I ended up getting sea salt and vinegar just because I really wanted that crunch and let me tell you they are 100% just like a chip they're made of chicken but I mean they are just like a chip I didn't really even go past the second or third ingredient because it's tapioca starch and sunflower oil which are not good for keto so I try to avoid it as much as possible especially if it's in the top ingredients they still have it in the keto ice creams, but it's down below, which means there's less of it. But then just yesterday, when my weight was kind of creeping up a little bit, I was like, well, I know it's not these cauliflower things. And I looked, it says maltodextrin, these things. And I've only had about five chips a day, five. And even at that, half the time, I only break off half of it and give the other one to the dog. So I'm just gonna say technically three chips and I swear this is getting my weight to creep up. Because a few days ago, I was looking forward to this weigh-in because I actually thought I was gonna hit 175. But I think those little things have screwed me up. My question is, will I stop eating them because they're so fantastic with those sandwiches? I don't know. Going to my whole jean debacle that I had last week, I ordered some Old Navy jeans because they were on sale. I didn't know my size and they came in and just like a healthy you said in comments, they're MC Hammer pants on me. Well, I wanted to just mail them in. Anyway, point is my sister, she always takes me whenever I'm going pants shopping, whenever I've lost weight. And I finally ended up getting the right size. Y'all look, no more MC Hammer pants. Mm-hmm. So I was technically two sizes down to a 16. They're perfect. Also, last Friday was such a happy day for me. If you haven't already watched last week's episode of Keto Chronicles, I'll put a card up here. And one of my friends always goes traveling everywhere and I'll occasionally travel with her. And she was like, we need to book something. If you guys are longtime viewers, you guys know I love Halloween. 
I have ended up booking this one attraction and I'm very excited. It's a Halloween ghost train. I mean, it's just gonna be so fantastic. So I'm all excited about that. Book that on Monday. And we booked a log cabin because it's in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. If you have not seen this place, I had never even heard of it. Anyway, we booked this log cabin. It looks so beautiful, serene, enchanting, just all around gorgeous. Have any of y'all been to Blowing Rock, North Carolina? Let me know in comments. I didn't really do much of what I ate because I pretty much ate the same thing, sandwiches. And I had ice cream all the way up until about Sunday or Monday and then I stopped and started gaining weight. Last week I weighed in at 176.8. Today I weigh in at 176.2. Total weight loss from last week to this week, 0.6 pounds. Good enough, I guess. That brings my total weight loss from when I started six weeks ago to 19.2 pounds. We'll have to see where my weight ends up next week because goodness gracious. What's going on here? Going up and down and willy-nilly on me. Y'all, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell. If you want to see my journey from the very start, I'll put the videos up here. If you want to see that great keto bread substitute video, I'll put it right here. Thank you so much for watching.